First of, KDE people are planning to replace Kickoff with a new icon-based app launcher, so we shouldn't really care for the current, that is awful in every aspect anyway. But what I really want to show you, is how we have learned to adjust on design bugs so much, that we can't even realize that weird things are happening on actual use. I'll try to keep this as short as possible, I won't describe all the weirdness I discovered, and I'm only going to use arrow keys for navigation. Ready? Let's go, by pressing super key to open kick off. And we see two bugs already. The first is a noticeable lag when kick off opens and closes, and the second is the animation that starts and ends with blur, but on completion the blur is gone, or something. Anyway, to the actual topic. We are on favorites tab, and note the focus is on search box, and the cursor is blinking. Pressing right arrow, will move us to the next tabs, perhaps as expected. And pressing left arrow, will move us to the previous tab. All good so far? Not really. And even if I did that pretty slow, I bet you missed that on applications tab Chrome category was selected. So, how we get into Chrome? Pretty obvious. We press down arrow, we go to development category, and then we press up arrow, and we get back to Chrome. Now we are exactly on the same state as previously, with Chrome been selected, and the search entry having focus and the cursor is blinking. But this time, if we press right arrow, we will navigate inside Chrome, and with left arrow we'll go back. And if we repeat, the same will happen. So, how we can change tab now? Pretty obvious. We press left arrow, we go to favorites, and then we press right arrow to return to Chrome, and then we can navigate to the rest tabs like in the beginning. I guess you're waiting for this torture to end, but in reality I didn't even start. So let's give some love to this search entry, that keeps blinking in desperation. I'm typing Kate, and search box already had focus, and so it returns us the search results. Now, if we press down and up arrows, we can navigate to search items, which kinda makes sense. Maybe maybe? But if we press left arrow, the action will go to the search entry again, and the cursor will rotate between the letters. Then, I will press right arrow, and the cursor will travel the opposite side, as expected, if anything is expected here anyway. But when we arrive to the last letter, the very next right arrow press, will actually launch the application. And this is how this UX review finally comes to an end. But this video will last a little bit more, for me to say a couple of things. The first thing is that Kickoff recently had some work on keyboard navigation, and not only. The problem is it was wasted work, because it is kinda impossible to really really fix a completely broken by design model. And it is totally broken on Windows 10 too. And from what I see on internet, Windows Next App Launcher will be quite different. And anyway, I believe it is better for KDE developers to don't even get bothered with it anymore, and put all the effort on Plasma New Menu. The second thing is kinda hard to quickly explain it, but this is how about it goes. So you create a non-natural workflow, like this kickoff navigation that arrows behavior is kinda random, and then the user brain learns to use it, without even realizing there is something broken inside. And so far so good. But when this starts to happen in 50 different modules, and it does happen in 50 different plasma modules, then the user brain can't adjust and learn anymore. So while Plasma has all these cool features that are supposed to speed up the workflow, in the end of the day it becomes extremely slow to use, because it is missing the natural design, that a brain can fast comprehend without even thinking. <laughs>